Hi y'all, welcome to another cleaning video. Today we are doing a nap time clean with me. I usually try to do a power hour, but I did not even get a full hour today during nap time. So this is about 40 minutes of cleaning that I did. And I just got this main area done and a couple other random things. So if you need some cleaning motivation and you have a little bit of time, this is the video for you so keep on watching so i'm just starting off in the kitchen by loading up the dishwasher as full as i can get it my husband was super helpful and unloaded it for me before he went to work today so now it's like hours later and i'm finally getting around getting around to doing some cleaning and all i have to do is load it up so this is all the dishes from last night's dinner and today's breakfast lunch and snacks so it is quite a bit and we are doing a little bit of ketchup here but that's okay the dishes are never ending regardless so just get it done when you can actually was feeling so so tired today and once i was done loading all the dishes that could fit i had some dishes left over that i had to hand wash they either couldn't fit anymore into the dishwasher or they just can't go in the dishwasher and i was just not feeling it you guys but i love to make really good videos for you guys and motivate y'all so y'all in turn motivated me because i thought to myself you know i can't I can't just let some some dishes sit here. I got to show out for my people. So if you have subscribed or commented or watched any videos, liked any videos, thank you so much because you're actually motivating me as much as I might motivate you. So we are still loading up this dishwasher and just trying to power through. I kind of just started hand washing the knives and things that I know can't go in the dishwasher as I went because I was trying to just clear out the sink there was so much random food and gunk in the bottom and i was just trying to at least get to the bottom of the sink so i could actually see it so yeah i'm kind of loading the dishwasher hand washing as i go soaking a couple things that had sat overnight with like chick-fil-a sauce in the thing so it got like dried on you know it was a little bit chaotic but we got it done anyway so if you needed some dish doing dish washing motivation here it is Time to wash some dishes. Speaking of motivation, I have not asked you guys a question in a good long while. And I was just recently thinking about what is the time of day that I feel the most motivated to clean? And it's kind of a difficult answer for me because I feel like it's definitely easier for me to motivate to clean, to start cleaning if I start cleaning like first thing in the morning or a power hour, you know, nap time power hour like I'm doing right now. It's definitely easier to get started, but I feel like the end result is less motivating to get to, if that makes sense, because I know that when I clean during nap time and I get the whole house clean, it's going to be messed up again by bedtime. So it's like, Ugh, like I hate that feeling but by the end of the day I'm super tired but I feel like the end result is so much more motivating like yeah it's really hard to get started because I'm super tired but knowing that the whole house is going to be clean and my kids are already in bed and it's not going to get messed up and I'm going to wake up to a clean house is super motivating it's just about being so tired, you have to like force yourself to get started. So what time of day do y'all find yourself the most motivated to clean? And what is like your favorite time of day to clean?
After scrubbing every last dish, trying to get everything caught up, I'm also going to scrub out the sink. I kind of rinse it down first and make sure that there's all that loose food just kind of goes down the drain. And then I'm just gonna scrub it out with some Dawn dish soap. I had cleaned the stovetop yesterday and didn't really cook on it too much. I just baked some stuff in the oven. So thankfully I did not have to scrub down the stovetop today like I normally do. I just scrubbed out the sink, did my normal routine, scrubbing that out, rinsing it down, running the garbage disposal, and then I spray the whole sink down with half water, half vinegar on the inside and the outside. Give the outside a full wipe down so that there's no like soap splatters or watermarks or anything. And then I just wiped the rest of the counters and the stove top down with my multi-surface cleaning spray from Miss Myers. y'all are new to my video or my channel I would love to introduce myself my name is Lauren I'm a stay-at-home wife and mother I have two kids and two dogs and we all live here in Wyoming it has been so amazing living here we are not originally from here we've lived here for a little bit over a year now and it has just been so great and I love making videos for you guys like I mentioned earlier I love to clean, I love to decorate, love cooking, and I love making videos. So thank you guys for being here. If you like my videos, comment, subscribe, anything like that, you are seriously the best. I also have a second channel all about self-care, skincare, makeup, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to follow me over there, that is always linked down below, as well as my Instagram and my TikTok, so you can follow me everywhere if you would like. After wiping out the sink, like I said, I'm going to move on to the countertops after I start the dishwasher here. And I am using the Miss Myers multi-surface cleaning spray. I still have the lemon verbena one, but I cannot wait to get my hands on some seasonal stuff. And I think I have a little bit of an interesting idea for testing out some different cleaning products. So if y'all are interested in that, let me know and I will get on that as fast as I can. I'm not sure how fast i'll be able to get these certain things that i want to test out but we will see hopefully that's like a little hint hint and maybe some stuff that is coming i'm super super excited but anyway along with getting that new stuff to test out i also cannot wait to get these seasonal miss meyer stuff i love the year-round scents but there is something special about the seasonal scents as well i love the honeysuckle scent and fresh rain in the spring summertime and then when the fall and winter come around oh you guys no I am getting that fall spice I'm getting Iowa pine I'm getting snowdrop it all smells so so good so of course when I do make that order and I get it I will be doing a haul for you guys like I usually do when I get these little seasonal roundups of the Miss Meyer stuff so after I finish off the counters I'm just going to light the candle here and move on to the dining room really really quickly I also opened up the window here in the kitchen I'm kind of gonna open up the windows as I go because like I said it's like another one of those beautiful 65 cloudy breezy rainy day which I know is weird but that is my favorite weather and I love getting that fresh rain smell coming into the house nice cool crisp air flowing through I love that so I'm just going to clean off just pick up a couple things of mail and put those in the mailbox really quick and then wipe off this dining room table again with that Miss Myers cleaning spray I love this stuff it works on every single surface it doesn't leave streaks or residue it really is so good also just lit the candle in here and then I'm moving on to the living room really quickly going to wipe down the windows windowsill coffee table and the TV stand dust things off get off kid fingerprints dust dirt the dose no 
<laughs> the does the dog nose prints on the window all of that good stuff gonna give that a really good wipe around and then just quickly pick up the few toys that got scattered in here we have been spending so much time in the playroom so the living room has really been staying very very tame which i love and of course opening up the window wiping everything down and kind of spraying some air freshener all around fixing up the couch and then we are going to move on to these floors some days i do the floors kind of as i'm finishing each room but today since i didn't have as much as i normally do in the kitchen and the dining room i thought i would get it done pretty quickly and be able to finish the floors and thankfully i was right even though of course on the day that i decided to do that my baby actually woke up pretty early from his nap he had a really quick nap so I'm glad I was able to actually finish up the floors today and it's a great example of why I normally do the floors as I'm doing that specific room because my baby could really wake up at any time and I would like for the floors to be done if that makes sense. So just spraying around some of the Miss Myers fragrance spray like a little fairy twirling around and then I'm giving y'all finally a close-up of the floor because I feel like I don't do that very often and in the large like wide frame it really looks like I'm vacuuming already clean floors because you just can't really see the dirt and dog hair close up you know from a distance you can't really tell that it's there but it's there okay there's dog hair everywhere dirt like I said it's been kind of raining the last week or so so the dogs have been going in and out with muddy feet and as much as I try to keep up with it they go in and out all day which is why I vacuum and mop every single day, or at least I try to, at least Monday through Friday. So yeah, I am definitely not going to waste my time cleaning an already clean floor. This sucker is dirty. It has dirt, dog hair, crumbs from the kids, all that. So I'm going to vacuum it, vacuum it super, super well. This is the best vacuum ever. I love this thing. This is the Bissell Clean View. It's a hundred bucks, which is relatively inexpensive for a vacuum these days especially if you think about all those vacuums that are like 500 600 dollars and i've had this for over five years and it picks up dog hair and dirt like it's nobody's business and you can adjust it to go on hardwood or carpet which is fabulous because i don't want to have to have you know stuff switching out for specific floors you know what I'm saying I'm trying to like get this cleaning done you know what I'm saying so I absolutely love this vacuum I got it because I actually got a Dyson oh look there's a canister all full of dog hair yeah that's how bad the floors actually were disgusting so I actually got this because I got a Dyson cordless vacuum you know the one that everyone uses on like TikTok and YouTube I absolutely hated it so much if y'all have been following me for a long time y'all know that the last house we were in was tiny less than 800 square feet tiny okay it happened to be a home like a standalone home but it was like the size of an apartment okay um it was small and i could not even get the whole house vacuumed without the vacuum dying and the rooms that i did have time to get to like that I did actually vacuum would still have dog hair left over I hated that vacuum I had it for a week I went and returned it and I went over to Costco and got the Bissell clean view and I have never looked back it's so good so after I'm done vacuuming then I move on to my O cedar quick mop this thing is amazing you can fill it with any scented or any you know multi-surface cleaner that you like I happen to be using the floral pine allen it's amazing and it works so good you guys it gets the dirt and dust off of anything mud that is like dried on it will break through it's really really amazing and the reusable mop heads on this are microfiber towel mop heads with little scrubbing sections so it really does get your floor very very clean for a quick mop situation Here is back to the before shot. You can see I had quite a few things to take care of and that floor was looking 
absolutely horrendous. And here is the after for 40 minutes of cleaning. I don't think that is too, too shabby. My baby woke up literally as I was taking these after videos. So I went and got him, took him to the playroom with some snacks and a bottle. And I managed to get my cleaning rags in the wash as well so that those could get clean and ready for the next day of cleaning. I just used my normal laundry detergent and OxyClean powder on the hottest cycle. And then when I dry them, I use the steam cycle on my dryer, like the steam sanitized drying cycle. And they are fresh, sanitized, and clean for the next day to clean my house all over again. Of course, I opened the windows in here too. I lit a candle and just played with my little baby until my toddler woke up and my husband got home and we carried on with our night. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are still cleaning along with me, I have an entire playlist of all my cleaning content right here on the screen and I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye!